don't think this is illegal. Today, I'm working on a painting. I got asked to do a painting for this new job that I got at an axe throwing place. And they want me to do like a mural in their like game room area. They want me to come up with a bunch of ideas and then show up to them and they can pick like whichever one they like. So if you have any ideas for like a cool axe painting, because I'm kind of out of them, leave them in the comments. That'll help me a lot. But this is what I got so far. All right, so like imagine this like the corner of the wall right here. And this is like the main wall right here. A little hatchet dude. This is gonna be the logo right here. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make that in a minute. And then we got this girl right here with her hair like flowing. And then I'm gonna have LEDs behind the sign shining on this so that way it like can change color and just have a heartbeat. And then this idea, I figured this would be like a cool photo wall. And you know how people like versus shit? You could do like Mario or you could change it, have like Mario versus Luigi or something. But I came up with this one, which is Freddy versus Jason versus right here. And then you can stand right here next to Freddy. You can one person to stand next to Jason. They can both hold the axes like they're fighting with each other and be like, Freddy versus Jason. Uh, I don't know. And then this is another shitty sketch idea that I did real quick, but it's Cupid throwing an axe at a heart and then like the colors bursting out the heart. I didn't color it all in yet. And then we got like the couch would be right here. This would be the axe, axe on, axe off sign. And then we got the city lights. I'm not a big fan of this one, but if they like it, I'll do it. But yeah, those are the only three I got right now. I plan on making like at least five, maybe like five to ten different like sketch ideas for them to pick from. And yeah, I'm going to start making another one and then I'll show you guys how I'm going to make that sign and then we'll get it going. All right, it's been like two hours. I just knocked out this design and I'm in love with it, guys. Like if they don't pick this one, I'm going to put this on my own wall or something because this is literally my favorite design that I've came up with. Like, I love this one. Check it out. Yeah, so this is gonna be out of this place that I just got a new job at. It's called Axe On, Axe Off. It's literally a place where you pay to throw axes and I'm gonna be an ax coach and teach people how to throw axes. Like, I'm hyped for this. But they're not open yet, so I was like, if you guys need any like painting done or something done to the, the place, I'd help them out. And they asked me to do a mural of kind of whatever I wanted. So it's an Orlando themed place. Well, it's in Orlando, it's not Orlando themed, so. But yeah, so this place is in Orlando, so I put the Orlando fake skyline that I made. We got fucking uh, Magic Kingdom, we got the castle right here for Disney. We got downtown area. We got this big water thing that says Orlando. We got the eye, the big Ferris wheel in Orlando. And then I got some palm trees just to represent the beach. And I just love palm trees. And we got this weird sun here. And then these are supposed to be like smoke coming off of the city. And I don't know, I don't know what they are, like tentacles, but I love it. It's like pink just looks like love for me. So it's like the love of the city is coming off the city. And then we have death here just throwing axes. And I don't know, I love this painting or this design. Yeah, so now I'm just gonna get ready. We have band practice tonight. Not even practice, we're going to the studio, dog. We're going to the studio tonight. <laughs> we only have to do one more song. Musically and then we're done with this album and then it'll be it's gonna be great man. All right, so I'm all showered now Now I'm gonna go get all sweaty and skateboard around fucking my neighborhood and go to the dumpsters that are under construction from houses that are under construction I stutter every one of these videos. I'm gonna get better at that But yeah, so I'm gonna go skateboard around and look for a piece of wood for the sign I'm building but yeah, so my idea for the sign is I'm gonna find a piece of wood, like a flat piece of wood. I'm gonna cut it into their, their logo, which is a big circle target. It has an ax in it. And then I'm gonna paint the logo on there and I'm gonna get a legit ax, put it into the sign. And then I'm gonna make it stick off the wall like two or three inches so I can put LED lights behind it that'll shine onto uh, whatever painting they decide to go with. And that'll literally like make the room just pop. And I don't know, it's my first mural. So I'm trying to make it the best that I can do. And then we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm gonna go find that piece of wood. Let me get my board. Let's go. All right, so I'm out here at the construction sites looking for a piece of wood, but there's all the construction workers here. So it's kind of awkward. I right, so there's a dude up here by this trash can, but I'm going anyways. I don't know. I don't think this is illegal. <laughs> Smoking in the ocean, getting high as can be, and sometimes it's only me. Right here, 
Oh, she's driving away. There's a white car. She's following me with a camera and filming me everywhere I go. But I live literally like right here. Like, what's she doing? Yeah, that was weird. But yeah, I literally can't even be in my own neighborhood because of the way I look. People like think I'm breaking into things or something, I guess because of the hair. Or they're just all old people and they expect me to all be old people living here. So, screw you, lady. Here's the last trash can. Nothing. Not, there's a cool tube shit. All right, well, I didn't find the piece of wood that I'm looking for, so I'm either gonna buy one or find one another day, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I still can't believe after two years of living here, I still walk around and feel like I shouldn't live here. Like, I'll wave at people, nobody waves back. People will just stare and won't even start a conversation. It's kind of weird. People will, like, get their kids and they're like, come here, come here, come here, come inside. I'm like, I'm not gonna steal your kid. I'm skateboarding down the street. But this last lady legit followed me from one end of the neighborhood to the next end and then back to like the middle again and she was filming me the whole time i wish i caught her filming me but i was just staring at her with confusion like what are we doing right now i'm not allowed to be outside but whatever i'm home screw that lady let's get back to whatever what's going on so what's the daily hair routine we got going yeah, you poof it a little bit you know you tease it up a little bit like that give it some bust out this so that the volume that you give it that's gonna deflate it keeps it stays up and then these bang shapes i don't like it going forward like that because then it really gets your so like that cover my eyes and spray box i thought it was just something i can get literally really yeah but it's like That's fucking awesome, dude. I didn't know that. Uh, crash. All the fucking instruments are finished. How hyped are you? All right, well, it's the next day. I didn't film much of our studio time like I wanted to because we were focusing on the actual studio time and making music, but you know, now it's another day. I'm going to a concert. It's my buddy. Not my buddy. It's my fucking girl. It's 21st birthday. Cheyenne, my buddy's girlfriend's 21st birthday. So we're going to go hang out with her. We're going to go see a band or something. So we're going to go downtown and we're going to see some weird band. I think they're called Starfucker or something. So it's going to be a fun one. <laughs> Yo, we're at the Starfucker concert. 